there YouTube, it's Aaliyah. So it is now the official start of the holiday shopping season, starting with today being Black Friday. For those of us here in the States, this weekend marks the start of the holiday shopping season, usually with a weekend full of a crap ton of sales going on everywhere as well as hordes of shoppers coming in and the resulting pandemonium that can ensue. Quick little history lesson. Black Friday first got its name in the city of Philadelphia sometime during the 1950s because police in the area would end up calling the day Black Friday because of the amount of chaos that would ensue because of all of the suburban people and tourists coming into the city and basically clogging up the entire city with all of their attempts at getting the low, low prices being advertised for the start of the season. The name ended up eventually spreading to the rest of the country where retailers would start to get a little bit upset at the negative connotation at one of their biggest sale days of the year. So then a marketing strategy was implemented to add a more positive connotation to the day, even if that positive connotation was really only positive to the retailers themselves. Because when businesses used to keep their finances more in paper, they used to write down net losses in red, while its net gains in black. So then the name Black Friday started to become a little bit of a positive connotation running joke kind of a thing between retailers saying that if they had been in the red the entire year, Black Friday was the day that they could finally get in the black. Eventually this one day sale ended up expanding into the entire weekend and sometimes even preceding days because various retailers would start to get more and more competitive and try to get the jump on each other by getting earlier or longer lasting sales. That's how we ended up getting things like Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, when the internet started to become a thing. And now we have one of my personal pet peeves, Brown Friday. For those of you who might not know what that is, it is when the Black Friday sales actually start on Thanksgiving. For those of you who do not or have not worked retail before, I'm not sure if you know this, but when sales start that early, you still have to get the retail workers coming in hours earlier, usually cutting into their own Thanksgiving dinner with family, friends, and loved ones. It tends to lead to kind of a saddening Thanksgiving. You add to that some of the stress that not only workers but shoppers can experience during some of these big sales when they're basically trying to fight each other for these 70% off plasma screen TVs or whatever. It just kind of makes you disappointed in the consumerist society. Now I will admit I am not completely innocent of participating in the sale weekends. Admittedly, I mostly do my shopping online, but that's mostly because I just find it particularly comforting to be able to sit at home on my laptop and not have to leave the warmth of my house, especially when I am experiencing a lovely Minnesota November where it snows on Thanksgiving. But even as I am clicking to put stuff into my cyber cart, or watching videos, or, or when I'm on Twitter going through the Walmart fights hashtag, and watching all of the craziness that can ensue during this weekend, I can't help but think, is this worth it? I mean, yes, things are generally marked down quite a bit. But the reason that a lot of retailers can actually afford to do this is because you have people who go in for these sales and then they end up buying way more than they ever would under normal circumstances, which ends up with the shoppers spending more money than they would under normal circumstances and usually end up buying things that they wouldn't ever want or need under normal circumstances, all while stressing themselves and the workers out even more. I mean, let's face it, you look at some of these joking parody videos about people going into a Walmart or a Target or whatever on Black Friday, and it looks like a freaking zombie apocalypse going on. The sad part is, it's not an entirely inaccurate depiction. I mean, I'm sure that there's no, like, hospitalizations or anything, but people get scary when they want good deals. I mean, come on, people! Now I know that by the time that I get this cut together and actually uploaded to YouTube, because my computer is kind of slow when it comes to uploading anything, chances are most anyone that is actually participating in the sales going on on Black Friday or doing any sort of cyber shopping today will most likely already be done 
and most of the bigger sales that end up producing more of the frenzied masses that I've been talking about during some of this video will most likely all be over with, but I hope that those of you who ended up either shopping or working today are staying safe and that your Thanksgiving wasn't cut super short by all of the fun consumerism. And if you ended up shopping, I hope that you got some real cool deals, because let's face it, there is no point otherwise, and it's still really cool to get all these fun deals. And for those of you who are like me who decide not to leave your residence and maybe do some cyber shopping, then I hope that you also got some great deals and enjoy not having to leave the warmth and comfort of your residence. Anyway, I hope that you all have a great start to your holiday season, no matter how you chose to spend it. All for now. Bye!